Okay, so uh, with the recent issues we had with patch R24, I was trying to see if there's a way we could prevent this from happening again in the future. And one of the major issues we have with the current development team is that basically it's really small, right? So it's really hard to get people together to do some testing runs because of how tedious it is because you have to do all this copy pasting after archive work and you have to have two players on the same time. You have to go one by one uh, through doctrines and through units and see which ones work and which ones don't. And it makes it really hard to be able to do these on top of having to organize them because we basically only have four dev members of which only two are real coders and of those two only one actually knows what they're doing while they're the other one's basically still learning. So. I want to see if I could find a way to uh, basically help out our main coder, Volskinator, in his process, and so he can test things in a in a more uh, more accurate environment here, rather than having to use basically a vehicle mod. And reading through the old coding post, I found the post for the AR Battle Scar by uh, Acronatus. I assume that's how it's pronounced. And uh, it, 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 the main thing was it, it there was a non-encrypted battle file. Uh, in that post, which I could use uh, to edit Scar on, and I don't know much about Scar, but the way he laid out the post, it's pretty simple to understand what's happening in the in the in this particular Scar file. So it's pretty easy to edit. Uh, because all the functions that there, all you're doing is inputting RGD functions, like the or or inputting the Lua constraints or Lua cons uh, when you want to introduce units or upgrades. So it, it's pretty easy to understand. Uh, and, it, and it's unencrypted, right? Unlike the European battle file that you'll get nowadays for replays, they're all encrypted, so you can't read what's going on. There. This battle file he uploaded was unencrypted, which, which is fantastic for us. Um, so, I'm going to do this tutorial to do a quick run through and, and, and show you guys how to use the SCAR file to basically set up a, a, a European uh, simulation. And I'll go, in case you don't want to look up the, uh, the SCAR file yourself, or in case. Uh, uh, this this someone's watching this video who who is um, a develop who is a development member that has joined after we probably left. Uh, I'll, the, the the actual scar file will probably be included in, in the post that this video is in as well. So let's go over uh, what we're going to try and do. So uh, let's take a look over at the scar file itself. This is the European uh, battle scar, right? So this earlier part is just our uh, Acronatus basically adding in cheat mod. Uh, to the battle file, which is which is good for us because it helps us actually test as a single player in game because we can actually have opposing we can actually have the uh, basically the main thing here is you can have units attack each other, right? Which is the main thing we wanna what we wanna have. Uh, but what's important is and you can just scroll down until you get to a group break big great big green uh, uh, section uh, of uh, Scar, which is here. This is where all the player upgrades are. Now, uh, for our current iteration, we don't need any of these, right? Because for the most part, we are not using player upgrades. Uh, although, I guess, you know, let's say we did want to use player upgrades. So let's say here, uh, yeah, let's say right here, we decide we want to put, give ourselves a player upgrade. What's one of the player upgrades we currently use? We currently use, uh, what is it? Chemical fire. So I don't know what what do we call it. So you want to go into the loot constraints, right? Oh, this is this. <laughs> you want to go into the loot constraints, and here's a here's as uh, Bosnia, uh nicely puts it, a get a mod. This is where I do all my patching for EIR. We'll go ahead. So this is all up to date with the current EIR. We'll go ahead, go into scar here, go to loot constraints, and go ahead and drop down PE upgrades, which are right around here. Here the upgrades, squad upgrades, here it is. Okay, mobility, tank destroyers, scorched earth. Okay, so we have infantry come fire, so now we'll go ahead and put that in. Uh, here. So we got uh, fire. There you go. And we want to activate this, you just go ahead and uh, remove this. There you go. And so uh, I'll give us uh, the player uh, come fire. Upon uh, starting the game. Now, here's a question: What player is getting this? Well, okay, go go up to the top of this green list, right? This and this green list is wonderful because it gives you an easy marker when you're scrolling down. Here, right here, you want to put your player name in. So I use Dire uh, right now as a Steam name, right? So this will be Dire. And you know, if you're Volscanator, you put in Volscanator here, or if you're Aeroblade or whatever the fuck your name is for the day, you put that in there. You put Tank 130 in here. That's it. You can test here, right? So now we want to scroll down to below this. Okay, we have here. Here's the stuff we want to put in, and I already, as you can see, I already put in, put in AUS Airborne Engineers here, and uh, I actually took off the uh, 
the airborne one here because of course uh, they scar when they come in as airborne. But yeah, let's say you have an airborne column. You you want to put one in here. That'll, that'll indicate this column is an airborne. It, it should come in from the air, right? But of course, if you do this, make sure your your squads are actually airborne squads because if you put like say a Sherman in here and you say airborne column, it's probably going to scar the air. Uh, here's a perfect example down here. Here's the second iteration. You'll see airborne one, and you'll see uh, airborne squad, airborne motor squad, airborne MG squad. So you want to keep the stuff like that going, okay? Uh, so uh, we'll go ahead and end it here. So what? Let's say what do we want chest? Okay, let's see. Well, in the last patch run issue where we have the Chaffee tread baker available for purchase on uh, the Chaffee. Problem is the Chaffee didn't have the ability to use tread because the tread baker ability itself is not available on the Chaffee. So uh, the question is, so how do we want that to happen? Well, as far as we're aware, the Chaffee tread break is just a copy paste of the L8, the HTA tread break. So let's say I'm Volskinator here and I want to test um, whether this Chaffee tread break is going to work or not in EIR, not just in, in a ghetto mod, but in EIR. So let's go ahead and do what he would probably have to do. So we'll go ahead and uh, close this up in our ghetto mod. We'll go ahead here and we'll go ahead and uh, look for the things we're going to need. So we're going to need three things. We're going to need the EBPS for the Chaffee, need the EBPS for the Light 80 half track, and use the, that to find. Uh, make sure I'm right. Okay, yep. I'm going to use that to find the actual light AD half track ability. So, there's your Chaffee EBPS. I'm going to access panel your Benoon's vehicles. Let's see. That's the actual. Uh, there's a AT half track. I believe this is it. Uh, and abilities. On the plating. Nope. That's not it. Uh, 251 light AT. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Uh, so PE sniper stun test. This I believe is uh, this is what's it called? This is a uh, tread break. So we'll go ahead and copy that into uh, the Chaffee here. As far as I'm aware, the Chaffee tread break is not a new ability, so this should work fine. So we'll go ahead. So we boom the Chaffee. So we're gonna go ahead and save that. And uh, let's see. And we're gonna have to save it as a dump as I don't think you actually need to dump it as a Lua, but we do that anyways to make it easy to read outside of the RGDs. So people who don't want to use Core 6 they can still read everything in uh, Notepad. There you go, we've got dumped it to Lua. So now what we want to do is we're gonna go ahead uh, and that's saved directly. So we're gonna go ahead and SGA pack this. So we're gonna browse and going to our company of heroes mod directory, which for me is here. Steam apps common. Uh company of heroes relaunch and EIR test data attribute. We're gonna go ahead and pack this straight to our desktop bubble just to make it easy to find. So it's gonna be a archive. And we're gonna go ahead and uh save that and it'll be attribute. So we'll create that. So this is gonna take a section. So what we're gonna do now for this is we're just, we're just gonna take this attribute archive because this attribute archive, since this is my test mod, it's a it's it, it's an exact copy of the current attribute archive that EIR is using, right? So, you know, it's all up to date. So I can just go ahead and copy paste this active archive into my EIR directory, right? Then after that, I can edit my, uh, my battle scar and put that into my EIR directory after packing it. And what will happen is we'll have the new archive with the edited chaffee, right? And we'll go ahead and on top of that, we'll have the archive, um, uh, for the edited battle file within EIR as well. So we'll launch from there. But Let's uh, wait for this to pack, which might take some time. It tends to take some time, at least on my computer, uh, to pack after archives. It is, cheers, no problem. So uh, we'll go ahead and uh, talk real quick about how you want to uh, actually put your stuff in. So here's my company here is relaunch file planning. As you can see, here's the Urban Runes. Here's my ER test mod. This is the mod I do all my uh, patchwork in, right? This is the, and I assume Volskinator does something similar. He does all his patchwork in a separate mod. So this is my ER test mod. This is where I do all my patchwork. So this new battle file, you probably don't want to put it in here because uh, in here you're going to have your own, you're going to have your actual EIR scar. This is the scar data that EIR actually uses, right? So you don't want to be shoving uh, your EIR battle file in here because if you do, uh, I mean, if you're careful, it won't be an issue. But if, but generally speaking, if you do, there's a pretty good chance that you might actually end up packing uh, your EIR yeah, battle in here uh, when you do an official patch. And you know, it it only takes a one time you forget to get rid of it that becomes an issue. So I I have a second mod where I do all my uh, 
uh, basically brainstorming in Vico a mod, uh, which is my mod. Didn't name it anything special. So I put all my stuff in here. You can see cheat mod is in here from my previous testing. But I have the new uh, your battle file that uh, Acronet is uploaded in here as well. So this is the mod I open in Corsix to directly edit the ER battle file, which is uh, right here. Well, it's not this one. Uh, but right here. This is the one. So yeah, as you can see, this is my mod right here. So I open data uh, scar, and uh, as you can see, it's highlighted here. So you are at battle, and this is all the stuff. So that's how you access that. Uh, hopefully, this isn't died. So we're still we're still just waiting for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause this, and uh, when we're back, Okay, uh, so, uh, make sure that, okay, it is working. So, uh, we've got this, uh, active park have created, so we're gonna go ahead and, uh, paste that in where we need it. Uh, I'll open up the second window here. Here is relaunch. In this case, we wanna take this active archive and put it straight into here. So we'll go ahead and just move it over and, uh, replace our active archive. So now we have the new active archive where the chaffee should, uh, have, uh, this is an interesting direction. Make sure there's not two active archives in here. No, there are not. Okay, so we should have an active archive uh, in here that has the Chaffee having the trigger ability. So, step two of our process now is uh, actually going ahead and editing the uh, battle file scar. So, uh, you see one by one by one, here is uh, one by one by two, and here is one by one by three. These are basically just your three starting columns, right? So, let's say in this first column we want to add a Chappy. Let's say you want to add two chaps because you want to have one with chaffy side each other. So first things first, you have to know what the chaffy. You have to in, uh, include the chaffy here. This is ERSPP uh, units. Uh, this is your unit list. So here's airborne engineers and engineers. Airborne as a uh, state of loot constraint. And the reason to stay like this is because but this is how they actually are stated in the loot constraints. So let's look at the loot constraints. And so if you don't, I mean, if you know these pretty well, you can put this in pretty easily. But let's just go ahead at the top. Uh, USSC is because they're at the top. Here are all the US units at the top right here. So we'll go ahead and find the Chaffee here. To, to, it's probably going to be New Orleans. There we go, Chaffee. It's just called the Chaffee, which is fantastic. Makes our life easier. Right? So go ahead, go here, and just say US uh, and Chaffee. Chaffee. And let's go ahead and make uh, one Chaffee have 100 XP. Let's go ahead and give the other Chaffee 300 XP. Okay, fine. One Chaffee 300 XP, one Chaffee with 100 XP. There we go. We should be fine there. And uh, uh, go ahead and put it because it's here. Uh, let's go ahead and say there's uh, vehicles uh, in this uh, column. Uh, hmm. Actually, I don't know if Scarry will, but I'm assuming one is. It should just be one zero here for either a yes or no. This, uh, this is just true, false, true, false, with uh, false being uh, zero and true being one. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if, if we have two vehicles, put in, uh, two for the vehicles, but I'm going to assume it's just true, false. So it's just, if you have any number of vehicles, you just put one here to actually say, okay, yeah, there are vehicles in this column. Um, so we'll put in two chaffies, and we'll go ahead and give them the chaffy tread break upgrade. So, how do you do that? So, first you had to know the upgrade. As far as I remember, it's probably just uh, ER upgrade, uh, US uh, chaffy tread break. But, again, if you don't know for sure, uh, two ways to do this. Uh, first, you can go into your uh, SQL. If you have SQL access, go to Upgrades and just look for see if there is a Chaffee Tread Break uh, option. Uh, let's look here if we see a Chaffee Tread Break. Looking, looking, looking. Chaffee Tread Break. There you go. So it's EIR upgrade US Chaffee Tread Break. Uh, if you don't have SQL access, again, you can just go to the loot constraints and uh, just go down and serve in the EBPS, the unit SBP. Uh, you just scroll down until you get to ah, here we are, the uh, the US uh, upgrades. Uh, so let's see if we have to upgrade here. And oh, look, here's Chaffee Treadbreak. So again, it's called Chaffee Treadbreak. So that's what you're going to be looking for. So you go back to your SCAR file and you want to give the unit uh, uh, the upgrade. So we go, yeah, our upgrade uh, uh, dot us dot uh, break.
Sega. to go. Moving! Light mechanized here. Uh-huh. Buckle up and hang on. Rev her up. Hang on. We're rolling. We are en route. Hit it! Yeah. Moving! Uh-huh. We're ready. Target
archive. Now let's get the sticky shift. Okay, and we'll go ahead and create. And when that's done, we'll be back. Okay, and uh, we're back. So again, once again, we'll just go into our European Ruins archive. Go ahead and copy paste or copy over the old Apple archive. We just made the new one with the new chapter trick ability. So I'll go ahead and close it off. Uh, Steam apps run replace. Okay, so <coughs> hopefully, hopefully, uh, this time we do get a chapter trick break. And if we don't, well, I'm gonna end the tutorial because you'll at least you'll get the idea of what I think we've already covered basically how to run the battle scar. So let's see if this works out now. Game, you get to watch me be a shit coder basically now. The, the tutorial's done. You just get to watch me uh, try and fail to fix things. Right? This is why we need Volscanator. Um. So. I'm opening up. Let's go ahead and get rid of the fog of war. Turn off the AI and bring in our two chappies again. Hopefully they don't die. Don't break. There we go. We got Chappie Treadbreak, guys. We got Treadbreaker. So there we go. That's our solution. So let's go ahead and make sure this uh, Treadbreaker works as it's supposed to. Uh, let's go ahead and make this guy our opponent. Uh, there we go. And let's go ahead and use our Treadbreaker ability. Uh, it missed apparently. No, it's still firing. And there we go, we got damage engine. So yes, we have a working Chaffy Trid Break. And holy shit, Chaffy seem to have some held some crazy phase armor. Uh, so there we go. Chaffy Trid Break is here. Let's go ahead and uh, see if we can get this guy back. And uh, as you can see, he's quite slow compared to uh, our own guy. So there you go, Chaffy Trid Break. So there you go. Here's here's why this is a fantastic thing to have discovered, right? And thank you to your modern Acronatus for having posted this all this year back for me to come back and find. But this should make our testing process much more smooth, much more simple. It should make it so we can test with one man rather than having to have two plus people on and have to upload patch after patch after patch every time we want to edit something. Like, okay, if this doesn't work, okay, let's upload another after bar type and download another after bar type. We can just do it in one computer with one person doing the testing and it's really quick, it's really simple. This entire Chaffee process, which is covered in this video, which I assume is about 25 minutes now, right? This would have taken hours, like at least an hour, using the two-person system we currently use. And uh, this is one of the reasons we don't get to test as much as we'd like, right? We test things, certainly we do, but we don't get to test everything we want to test because this issue right here, right? Uh, basically, if we want to test everything, this is, look at this, we, we tested this chap, and for someone who's better at coding than me, this could probably be done in about 15 minutes, so we'd get this done. You'd be able to check out four, you test four, multiple units in fact, because I'm only testing the chaffy. You could put in, say, you know, you test chaffy plus airborne engineers in your second slot, oh, let's let's try, let's practice, or let's try using the uh, the new Pershing in here, or in here, you can say, okay, let's try this new Slack 88 artillery in this, this call in, right? So you, you all these things are uh, fantastic, right? So we just, and it, it, it makes the coder's life so much simpler with this battle archive. So it's a simple process, as you saw, you just, you just download this battle archive, I'll probably attach it to this post as well, and you download this battle archive, and, and this opens battle, and you just you just make your two separate mods, right? You probably if you're if you're coding, if you're someone like Falcon, you're already coding those mods. You probably have at least two separate ghetto mods, as he puts it, to do this in. And this is fantastic. This is fucking great because you can just go ahead and test right away everything that's working, and and if it's working, right? For example, I noticed here Volscanator, I assume he put some sneaky bet five to the airborne engineer, and it's supposed to get an extra man <laughs> at bet five. But as you can see here, it's in game. It's got the Vet 5, but it's showed up without the extra man. I don't know if that's something he believes would be uh, fixed. Uh, oh, well, those guys are dead. I don't know if this is something he believes would be fixed uh, in the normal mod, but from what I see right now, they're not getting the extra body. Uh, so, you know, that's something for he could look at as well. And uh, there goes our Vet 5, Jaffe, and all that guys. So there we go. Uh, we Oh. Okay, it just occurred to me <laughs> that... Uh, it just occurred to me that uh, I'm using XSplit, so this needed to be in Windows mode for you to be able to see anything. But uh, as you can see, here's here's that uh, here's that uh, three-man airborne engineer or something, and it's Vet Five, and it's got this health bar missing. So I'm assuming that Vet Five is supposed to get one extra man, and they're not getting it. So I don't know, I don't know like what's going on here uh, with the veterancy. Uh, let's see if we can use this unit spawn system. 
to get the Chaffee, actually. It probably can't because the Chaffee didn't exist uh, back then. But let's see what happens. Uh, let's see if the Chaffee, we can spawn a Chaffee. I don't think we can, because I don't think... Get going! What's Jesus. your plan? 